beautiful people welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well i know some of you must be sick of hearing about without a crystal ball aka katie joy but man oh man either she is unhinged or she is nervous in realizing that a deception in regard to her own lawsuit with robertson and company and by dragging it out because she needed to get this docuseries out because she felt it was her way of getting out of the lawsuit i personally do not think so but hey I'm no lawyer, so I could be absolutely wrong. But after the docuseries was released, it was off to the races for her. She is on a victory lap, and as I said, constantly posting and taunting the same people who were suing her, like Robert Shin. When I said that she is pushing the accusations that Robert Shin was accused of, that she learned from a lawsuit brought against him in 2011, onto the female dancers associated with 7M, this is just an example. I showed you the back and forth she had with an anonymous person and she thought it was Hannah Shin. She said, and I quote, Is Miranda giving massages yet? End quote. She is just making shit up. It's like she's just waiting to get word that Robert Shin is doing heinous things to these female dancers. She has no proof of shit. Alleging and putting in people's minds that Robert Shin could be doing what he was accused of doing years ago. From the time this story was released, one of the female dancers and even those that have now left, none of them have ever accused Robert Shin of forcing them to give him massages. Those allegations, as I said, came from an ex-member from the Shekinah Church decades ago. And of recently, if you watch the docuseries, a woman named Priscilla, there is a lawsuit that is set for trial in 2025 from ex-members that did belong to Shekinah Church that are also accusing Robert Shin of SA. Now, we are going to stick with Miranda since she was and seems to be the main focus, even if Katie Joy says she's not. Yet, Katie Joy seems to want desperately to destroy Miranda's livelihood. She made this post. Please be mindful that the last time this story went viral, a woman in the cult was physically assaulted for speaking up and informing others about Robert's crimes, leaving negative comments on any of the dancers' Instagrams will and can contribute to them becoming a target of violence by Robert and his mentors. Please remember they are victims. Why isn't she taking her own advice? Because she seems to be doing exactly this, which I will show you guys. So make this make sense, Katie Joy. You want people to be mindful. Not leave negative comments and be mindful that they're still in this situation. Yet, it's okay to produce a whole three-part docuseries and letting the world know about the situation. Then she went on to ask people to flood the Los Angeles District Attorney's office with phone calls and messages. And this was hilarious to me. She makes a post. Contact the LADA or leave comments on their socials and apply pressure. Leah Remini had to make several shows about Danny Masterson and push the DA to charge him. Let's follow her example with Robert Shin. Sweetheart, Katie Joy, I can commend you for dreaming big, but trying to draw inspiration from Leah Remini that is going after a real cult in my opinion. You would never make it through a fraction of what Leah Remini has endured and guess what? Not once did she play the victim card or even go in hiding. She stood her ground from day one. You could never. She also, she decided to go after and tag the Los Angeles Police Department. She makes this comment about Miranda and being involved with her sister's wedding. This person said, I was surprised to see a few days ago that Miranda was at Melanie's wedding. Thoughts? It's all for show. The family addressed this in the series. Robert tells them to see their families, to take a photo and to post it on social media. Miranda was not in Melanie's wedding, didn't attend her bachelorette party, and sat in the back at the ceremony, nowhere near her family. First of all, the Wilkings do not even talk to Katie Joy. She knows shit. But from the docuseries, Melanie didn't want her sister to be her maid of honor because of where she's at and the situation. And I commend Miranda for sitting in the back if it was her choice or not. Because of all the shit surrounding their family, why would Miranda want to spoil her sister's wedding day? Prove to me who the decent sister is. The next post. I'm so upset and sad for Miranda's family. I can't believe she is still brainwashed. 
To which Katie Joy responds, Miranda is so busy and so controlled that she doesn't have time to critically think. Wow. What a way to insult a person. Hannah monitors her life and James has become like a minder of hers. Always around and always monitoring slash controlling her. In the docuseries, the journalist for the Rolling Stone said it best, and this is not verbatim. She said that these are adults. They are making their own choices and decisions. Being in a cult is not a crime. And what if Miranda has just been a supportive wife? What if Miranda is doing what she wants to do and is there on her own free will? And if not, how is this helping her get out and staying out of harm's way? She made a post about Reino, also another one of the 7M dancers. She says a glaring hole in the media coverage of this story is that Nick Reino is also a victim of this cult and separated from his family. Nick has allegedly been deemed not marketable by Robert Shin and he's been relegated to working as a janitor at the church property while also not being allowed to interact with the dancers or receiving the same rewards as the marketable dancers. You know when Katie Joy said in a promotion video that they didn't want to make this docuseries sleazy and salacious? Well, the archive consultant decided to take on that task herself, but to be sleazy and salacious on her own platform. How could she have ever let that opportunity pass her by? Now back to Reino. From what I saw in the docuseries, Reino's parents said that they didn't get to see him much, but I saw them watching his videos and it seemed to have given them some kind of way into his life. So that was their way of seeing him. Guess what? That has all ended because Reino has deleted his entire Instagram account. I wonder how his parents feel now about participating in the docuseries. Now, only Reino, to my knowledge, that has deleted his Instagram. Not anybody else that Katie Joy mentions. Any of the females, any of the other males, only Reino. Could Reino just be fed up and thought how could his family have deceived him like this? Just a thought. Also, remember Katie Joy said this isn't about Miranda. There are others. So when someone asked a question about Vic, the one Katie Joy herself said, that she thinks Miranda has more chemistry with him than her own husband. She responded to a message by saying, the story wasn't about Vic, which by the way is a stage name, which he chose, chose Katie Joy 1-0, not 2-0s, under Robert Shin. He's very much involved. He is one of their most marketable and he's deeply inside and controlled. No one from Vic's life wanted to speak up and honestly, I've never heard of any of us being contacted by his friends either. But hold on, Katie Joy, he is part of 7M, and according to you, 7M is a cult. So what I am seeing and hearing is that you didn't bother reaching out to any of his friends or family members because he was male, and you couldn't impose any of the accusations on him because he was male. Just my thoughts. Then, this is what she posted about James, Miranda's husband. What's James' background? Does he have family who are missing him too. Katie Joy responds and says, James' mother is permanently disabled. After surgery went terribly wrong. She is basically in a vegetative state. He was in another cult before this. His first marriage was arranged by the pastor. He has a son that he rarely sees and his former pastor was a convicted SO. So he kind of cult hopped right into Shekinah. He's nine years older than Miranda. Isn't your husband nine years older than you, Katie Joy? Check yourself. Why did you feel the need to divulge this information about this young man's mother, who's supposed to be a victim of a cult? She didn't need to divulge this information because her followers are brutal. How is all this supposed to help these victims of Robert Shin? Without a crystal ball herself is dangerous in my opinion. To tell me all that she is doing and as she said, that they are still under his control and that, that he is now agitated once again. Coincidentally, a neighbor of Robert Chin contacted her to let her know there's more cars parked in front of his house or the church than usual. I call bullshit on that. To tell me all that she is doing and she feels now that he is agitated and if she is correct, that the ex-member was beaten as she said, for speaking out. What do you think Miranda's facing with everything that she herself, without a crystal ball herself, is putting out and how she herself is taunting Robert Shin? How is she helping?
the so-called victims, including since it was Miranda's parents that had the bright idea to go on social media and make that post and hook up with Without a Crystal Ball. And at that time, two years ago, made Without a Crystal Ball the source for information and accept Without a Crystal Ball's promise to bring back their daughter. And here you have Without a Crystal Ball posting non-stop about this man that is devilish and harmful. Is Without a Crystal Ball not concerned about Miranda? Or does she just need to release her information so her lawsuit can be thrown out? In which lifetime? Only the courts know. She also made this post, which I thought, let me just share a little bit of information that Katie Joy shared with us. This person asked, so if Shun made everyone sign NDAs, does it mean those people can't speak out after they leave? To which without a crystal ball responded. Yeah. The NDAs are generic. Aubrey signed one and it didn't stop him from participating. He suing Roberts to have the NDA deemed fraudulent. NDAs are not enforceable in court of law if they are used to silence people from reporting crimes or to cover up crimes. Do you know that without a crystal ball gets her house cleaners to sign NDAs? So those cleaners that come into a home, she makes them sign NDAs. <laughs> those are her words. So what is she hiding? So Katie Joy actually shared this from jesse myself and i this is the executive producer she made a post to say our company was honored to have the opportunity to share their stories alongside the amazing team at dirty robber and at netflix we kindly ask you to continue to share your love and support to all those who have left as well as those still under the control of the church let's hashtag lead with kindness that is a fucking joke let's just speak about miranda you go under her posts there's nothing but fucking negativity. So maybe you should have started with lead with kindness and shut Katie Joy up or shut her down from the get-go. To which with other crystal ball says, a message from the executive producer and a woman that I'm proud to call a friend. I wonder how long you're going to be friends. Please lead with kindness with all the survivors that have left and those that remain inside. At Jesse, myself, and I thank you for your compassion, empathy, and leading by example. Your work will change lives and inspire so many others. Do fucking shit. I'm going to leave you guys with this that she posted because she's so high up on her soapbox, it's unfucking believable. Number one on Netflix after one day of streaming. After only one day of streaming, Dancing for the Devil, the 7M TikTok cult as number one across all of their TV shows, both scripted and unscripted. For the first time, the world is getting a look inside the dark world of Robert Shin and his church and management company that has trapped professional dancers into a psychological slash spiritual prison. Many people have expressed outrage that despite multiple women filing reports with LASDHQ, that the LA District Attorney Office has not yet charged Robert Shin the sheriff's office told the woman that if at least three women came forward, they would arrest Robert Shin. Over a year later, Robert Shin is still free. The Los Angeles district attorney has everything they need to charge Robert Shin. While Robert remains free, other women in this group remain at risk. At what point will law enforcement do something? Shekinah Church is tax-exempt, but also using for-profit entities to seemingly launder money and donations. <laughs> The IRS began an investigation into Robert Chin in 2022, according to a report by the U.S. Sun. I wonder who gave the U.S. Sun that information. Reports have been made to the FBI. Nothing has been done. At what point is this man stopped? Please share and continue to help spread awareness about the series. Together, we can hopefully ring the bell loud enough for the authorities to finally step in. This is unbelievable. Unfucking believable. What about those people that are still in there? How is what, what out a crystal ball doing but going after Robert Shin, taunting him? How is that helping Miranda, James, Reno, and all the others? Because like I said to you guys, if you have Instagram, go on Miranda's page and you will see how it's flooded with nothing but negativity. How does this help Miranda. There are so many more posts that Katie Joy did 
I will leave a link to a channel called Supernatural Crime with Nikki, where she is always on top of posting and making videos about Without a Crystal Balls posts. Also, if you're on Instagram, please go and follow Balls 2.0 and Haiti Joyless. I will leave their handles in the description box. They also keep up to date with Katie Joyner posts and she, she has been posting non-stop. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time. Please be safe out there. Be kind to one another and don't forget, make good memories. Bye guys.